Hey guys, Miles here, Tactical Hive with Tosh. And uh, we're getting ready to do the stock that we've been talking about for a while. And the last component before we start kind of walking the field first and kind of just going over a few little details and, and uh, Tosh providing a brief is face paint. It's an integral part. And uh, Tosh is gonna give us a, kind of a, a primer on how to apply it, how, you know, certain ways, reasons why, patterns and things like that. So Tosh, take it away. Okay. So there's different different types of, of face paint. Let's talk about that first. You got the tube. It's very um, viscous. It's 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 liquidy, and so it goes on really easy. But it also sweats off real easy. Okay. So I wasn't a big fan of this. I, it's big fan is putting it on, but taking it off is it, it it's usually usually not there at the end of the day. So it doesn't do you good. And then you got these compact types. These, these hold the better uh, face paint that stick to your face so you're not constantly having to reapply. Mm -hmm. And then the poor man or the old school way is get some mud, make some mud, <laughs> and wipe your face down. That, uh, ultimately, that'll help. Because what you're trying to do, if you look at his face, you can see the shine that's coming off his face. And the whole purpose is, is to get rid of that shine and then break up the structure of the face itself. So when applying, the rule is when you're applying face paint, you want the darker colors on the high points and the lighter colors in the low points. So you'll see, if you look through old military pubs, you'll see people with different patterns that they use. I am not really concerned about it. What I just usually do is just get a, a modeled mixture of colors so it doesn't look like a face. So we'll keep it simple. So come on over here so we can, let me get on this side. So I'm gonna start with a little white actually. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. And it doesn't have to be this complicated. I'm just getting, uh, for you people wanting to see. Okay, more of the other color. So it's some tan. Get up high, because you may have to take your hat off. The lighter colors first, always. And you're just doing straight lines, right? I'm just, right now, I'm just getting your face covered. Okay. You look like a, uh, a ghost right now. <laughs> Okay. And then of course you get up, you want to get your ears and all that in case you have to take your hat off mm -hmm. for whatever reason. I got to put a little extra on your cauliflower there. <laughs> okay. And then you would run it all the way down. Now we're going to start getting into the darker colors. Okay. So darker colors, I want to start on the high points, right? When you say high points, the... The high points of your face. Okay. Because that's where the shine's gonna come and you want, you want darker colors for that. Now we're getting screechy, okay? Now it's coming in really good. You could almost get away with this right now. Okay, we got a little bit more. Let's get some darker over here. A face paint is something that every um, sniper students would already apply before the stock. Yeah, well, or right, right as they're going out the, right before they step off to go on the actual. Some more green, different type of green. Of course, you use the colors that are best going to fit your environment. This mm -hmm. is uh, a lot of green, a lot of brown out here. Um, and then let's get, let's get a little brown in there. Okay, just break it up a little bit. You're gonna hate me later. <laughs> Why is that, the cleanup? Yeah, the cleanup. <laughs> Yeah. 
And what you wanna to try to do when you do this is get rid of the hard transition lines. Okay, let me uh, get a little, a little bit of this. And you don't even have to really do go into this much detail in doing it, mm -hmm. but that's pretty quick. This is a quick job right here. A little bit more. So the reason I like to start with white on the eye is that actually when you go to take it off, mm -hmm. you don't have. It doesn't look like you're wearing mascara. Got it. Yeah, and the white comes off a little bit easier. Okay, there you go. Awesome. <laughs> and that's the final paint job. And then put your ghillie hat on. Oh, it's on your... There, you cover it up. And then it's easy. If you got one of these compacts, Touch up. To, they usually have a mirror in them. This one's kind of shitty. Here's a oh. fresh one. So they have a mirror, you know, before you get into your FFP and you're gonna do your final shot, you just wanna touch it up, get a little bit. Let me, uh, I got something I gotta do to you real quick. It's bothering me. We'll darken that up a little bit. All right, there you go. You can take a look at yourself here. So they got a little mirror. Okay, let me change some right here, boom something's a little too light, you could easily just, because you've got the paint already on your face, you can ch change it up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Boom, there you go. You guys have it, your uh, crash course in uh, face paint. Yeah, and the easiest way is to make mud and just wipe the mud on your face. Uh -huh. You know, uh, that's what guys would do in a pinch. They didn't have any compact, to take the canteen, make some mud, and they just get their face dirty. And so the, the likelihood of doing a stock and the face paint coming off is very... It's, it's very high, especially if you're talking about moving a, a, a large distance. Mm -hmm. So, but you also, while you're moving towards, you don't want anything to give you away mm -hmm. and having a bright glowing face, no matter what your skin tone is, it's still, it shine, you sweat. Mm -hmm. So the trick is to try to keep that and the, the face paint helps hide that mm -hmm. in theory. Got it. Awesome, yeah. thanks. Well guys, we're looking forward to uh, getting moving with this stock. So uh, we're going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys like that. Again, thanks Tosh for uh, giving us that primer. And if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe.